Good morning to all of you. <clears throat> Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankar. In this video, <clears throat> we are going to discuss the etiquette of an advocate, the behavior of an advocate in the courtroom, the two in the Supreme Court. Yesterday, that is on 16-10-2023, while the bench of Honorable Chief Justice of India, Dr. D. Y. Chandrachur, J. P. Parthiwala, and Justice Manoj Mishra, yeah, Manoj Mishra, all the three are conducting the hearings in the Chamber Number no. One, Court Number no. One, that is Supreme Court. While the proceedings were gone, were going on, Honorable Chief Justice of India was irritated was put to disc inconvenience on seeing a person speaking on a mobile phone. Of course, with a very low tone, he was speaking. But it caught the attention of the Honorable Chief Justice of India. Immediately, he asked the court courtmaster to go and confiscate the mobile phone. It was done. Of course, we all know that there are exigent circumstances, emergency circumstances, but you have to maintain the decency and decorum of the court and the etiquette of the court and the standard of behavior in the court. You should not speak over phone. You should not keep the phones open. You should keep the phones shut off in off mode or at least in the silent mode or vibrating mode, which nowadays people call it as vibrate, vibration mode. Even in the early days, about a year back itself, I have seen in the entrance of the courtroom a notice, cell phones should not be allowed in the courtroom and keep your mobiles switched off. Nowadays, instead of just switching off, we are keeping them in the so-called vibration mode. And everybody, most of the youngsters and lawyers, they have the so-called iPhones. I'm not if I'm sorry, it's called Apple Watches. I'm also having to walk Apple Watch. So you can just see them as to who is making. If it is important, you can go outside and call him and what. Right. Now, in a surprising turn of events, Honorable Chief Justice of India took swift action against a lawyer and confiscated the mobile phone as he was engaged in a phone conversation in the courtroom number one. Miffed by the lack of decorum, that's what I told, lack of decorum exhibited by the lawyer, the CJ asked the lawyer to be careful in future. Right? This incident unfolded as the proceedings were underway by none less than the Chief Justice India's bench, three persons. The Honorable Chief Justice of India retorted, that's why. Whenever you want to speak uh, in your own language, your mother tongue will come. Suppose if you fall down, inadvertently you say, Amma, is it not? Then uh, you don't say, Oh God, don't use that language. Likewise, Honorable Chief of India, immediately he, he explained, he exclaimed in Hindi, market hai, jo aap phone pe baat karte rate hai, inka mobile le lo. Roughly to translate, it says that, is it a marketplace that you are speaking on the phone? Courtmaster, go and seize the mobile phone or mobile. Of course, he expressed that he is a sorry. Right. Now, Chief Justice also gave a stern warning, stating that, be careful in the future. Judges see everything. Please remember, we may be looking at the papers. But our eyes are there. That's why eagle's eyes. Eagle's eyes, yes. So, we have observed the judges. Even though they are looking through the deposition, even though they are hearing the both parties, both the defense and plaintiff counsels, at the same time, they'll be observing at what is happening in the courtroom. 
that is by virtue of experience and that is uh, what is expected from them also. They can't uh, sit like a mute spectator hearing what you are telling. They have to observe the premises, that's what happens, what's happening, what is happening around them. So, don't be under the wrong impression that uh, since the judge is looking into the papers, uh, he will not look into us. They have got their own administrative capacity. That's why they have become judges. Is it not? So, it is a classic case where the lawyer tried to, of course, it's also definitely should be important for the advocate also. I can't say because some other senior would have called him. Yeah, but he has to go outside. Then he could answer and come back. But it is not the decorum to maintain the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Even the lower courts also, they don't agree, I am sure. So, what I want to emphasize through this video is, they are budding advocates, even whatever they advocate, please keep your mobile phone in switched off or vibration mode. If you want to speak urgently, yes, go outside, go to the corridor, speak and come back. But don't disturb the court. This is what I want to do. It may be taken seriously because rules of practice nowadays say that mobile phone should not be used inside the court. Of course, Honorable Chief Justice of India was kind enough to warn him. But if he imposes fine, what to do? You have to pay. Is it not? So please give careful in future. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.